I use the technology in the lab, reaching out to K3, actually third grade all the way up to high school, and I get them interested in manufacturing, engineering, uh, science, math, and to try and get them into those STEM fields. Now I, I go into elementary schools, middle schools, and high schools. Somewhere along the line, a switch gets thrown. And we like to call it a STEM moment of truth, science, technology, engineering, and math. So it's a moment of truth where they get turned on or turned off. So what we try to do is we're trying to catch them before that STEM moment of truth where they might get turned off. Now you walk into an elementary school, they can invent the world. They want to create rocket ships to go to the moon for them and their, their best friend. You get into uh, middle grade, um, six through eight, you have to lead them a little bit with the equipment and kind of, well, this is what you can do. And then you can, you can see the, the gears turning again. Um, but when you walk into high school, it's, it's like dead fish in the audience. It's blank stares. So we have to get them earlier and get them into this technology to open up uh, what they can do. When, when kids see the shop out for the first time, they're very intimidated because it's very large. It's about 10 feet long and just over 5 feet wide, and, and there are even bigger ones. And then when you start talking about computer numerically controlled, it, it scares them because they're going to make this giant machine work. But once you get them on it and you see how easy it is, they're just drawing a box. And when they print it, the, the router is just cutting that box out. Um, and then it becomes not, not only more familiar, but it puts them at ease that it's not as complicated as you thought. Because you can, you can get an eighth grade, uh, eighth grader can just walk up and be operating in 10 minutes. And once you get kids on there, you'll never get them off. They will never go home. The, the list will just keep growing and they'll keep making and making and making. And that's what the country needs right now. Well, one of the thing about uh, a fab lab or the shop bot is they're learning all that stuff without knowing it. So all they know is instead of sitting in a classroom listening, they actually get to make, design, fabricate something. And then at the end, we ask them, uh, so who thought they were using science? And sometimes nobody would even know, and you would have to point it out. And then you can almost see the lights going on. Oh, now I get it. And one of the things that people don't understand is the kids nowadays, they don't learn like we learned. They're still being taught the way we were learned, but they don't learn like that. So th these are the digital kids that that's all they've ever had is digital. So they think and act digitally. So when we bring them into the fab lab, everything's a computer and every piece of equipment is a printer. So let's say with a shop bot, it's a CNC router, computer numerically controlled. Do they have to learn CNC? No. They get on the computer, they draw something digitally, and they hit print. This is how the kids learn. This is how they will be working. It's, it's all digital to them. They don't know what's behind the print button, and they don't really care. They just draw it, print it, here it is. If it isn't right, they just do it again. It's no big deal. And they have to have immediate gratification, which is going to fit in perfectly with the new digital fabrication.